Before I start the review, I just want to point out that yes, I am wearing a Song of the Sea t-shirt. This was a lovely birthday gift from a mate of mine like a couple of years ago, and I thought that it would be a very interesting fit to wear for this review, so enjoy. Despite the fact that I forgot to iron it. So, Wolfwalkers is the latest cartoon saloon feature film directed by Tom Moore and Ross Stewart. And it's set in the 1600s in a time of superstition and magic and a young apprentice hunter called Robin Goodfellow, played by Honor Nefsi, journeys to Ireland with her father Bill Goodfellow, played by Sean Bean, to wipe out the last wolf pack. But while exploring the forbidden lands outside the city walls, Robin comes across a mysterious free-spirited girl called Maeve, who is a member of a mysterious tribe rumored to transform into wolves by night. And the film is the core of their friendship and Robin's uh, understanding of these wolf walkers and also her understanding of what it means to be truly free. Now Cartoon Saloon has a splendid reputation for authentic, beautiful and immersive looking animation inspired by Irish folklore mythology, such as Song of the Sea, Secret of Kells. They're also really well known for introducing culture of the world their stories are set in. For example, The Breadwinner. This was one of my favorite Cartoon Saloon feature films. So I saw Wolf Walkers at the LFF uh, BFI Film Festival on BFI Player. So of course I was anticipating to see Wolf Walkers. I was really excited to see it. But I have to say, when I heard the concept of Wolf Walkers, I thought to myself like, I think I've heard the story a couple of times though. A community is scared of a monster or a creature of some sort and they spread rumors about it of how evil it is and how the only way to survive it is to slay um, said beast but then one particular person um, usually it's a child comes across these beasts and they um, have a change of perspective and they change their way of thinking that's pretty much like um, a lot of stories that are told nowadays so I was expected to see beautiful animation but it would be like a sort of like a style over substance sort of film because the story didn't seem very unique to me. So were my expectations met or were they exceeded? Well, let's find out. So let me kick off with the animation like I always do. And I have to say that this is probably one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen, but it's, it's no surprise really because uh, it was made by the same creators of Song of the Sea. And I said in Song of the Sea that it was beautiful in terms of frames and illustration and animation and design and that you could pause at any time of the film and then you can hang it up on your wall as if it was a work of art. This is the same with uh, Wolf Walkers. It is beautiful. Every single frame in this movie is absolutely beautiful. But what I like to point out is something that Wolf Walkers does that is very unique, not just in terms of design and illustration and visuals, but also in terms of storytelling. I've noticed that most of the townsfolk characters or the characters in the town or in the community that are afraid of the wolves, their outlines are more thick, uh, they seem more finished, and um, they seemed more colored with uh, sort of darker colors, whereas the wolves and the wolf walkers have lighter shading, lighter colors, and lighter outlines. And you also notice that in Robin as well, as she changes uh, throughout the film, her design changes in terms of outline, which sort of represents her changing as a character. There are parts where I made out the circles that were still on the bodies. You know, the circles that you put in before you add the base of your characters. I think that was so unique that what they did, and uh, I found that very uh, impressive. So there were also some moments where they added vigorous paint brushes uh, in the background to showcase um, the people's emotions. I remember there was a scene where Robin was being under attack, and then in the background there would be like a very violent sort of paintbrush to show how perilous the, the stakes were. So in terms of design and illustrations and uh, visual development, not only did they put a lot of work and research into uh, the environment and the settings of the woods, of the towns, of the, of the entire place, of uh, Kilkenny and, and the woods, but they also put a lot of effort into the emotion and the storytelling and how the characters are feeling, which is something that I really admired. Robin is a great protagonist. I really cared for her. She tries to be free-spirited and she tries to become a, a wolf hunter just like her dad, but her dad is overprotective of her, so she has to stay home and cook and clean, but that doesn't stop her. She, she carries around a crossbow and shoots her arrow all over the place, which was hilarious to see and also she interacts with her pet falcon called Merlin um, since she doesn't really have any friends. Uh, I, I like the father and daughter relationship between Bill and Robin. You, I sense that Bill was under a lot of pressure when looking after Robin since she's very mischievous 
and going behind his back and exploring the woods when she's not supposed to or she's constantly uh, thinking about superstition since he's under the watchful eye of the Lord Protector. But also it's very it's a very nice and heartwarming father and daughter relationship that they share together and they're both equally facing a lot of pressure. So that's what made their dynamic very unique in terms of father-daughter relationships. And Maeve is enjoyable to watch as well. She's very overexcited, free-spirited, sneaky with the way that she uh, threatens Robin at first. They're very skeptical towards one another, her and Robin. But uh, as the film progresses along and as Robin goes through some changes, she has to set things right with her. Um, she puts a lot of trust in Robin because Maeve has to wait for her mother who is missing. She's waiting for her mother to come back so that they can find another place and get out of the woods before um, the Lord Protector and everyone else chops it down. So she's facing through a lot of pressure as well and she's very emotional and you feel for her because her life, her, the wolf and her mother's life are literally in uh, Robin's hands. This story is set in the 1600s when Ireland was under British rule and since it's taking place in Kilkenny, the, the villain of this film played by Simon McBurney is your sort of standard villain, but surprisingly he plays a real life historical figure, Lord Protector Oliver Cromwell. He wants to chop down the forest and eradicate the wolves from the woods so that he can show the village that he is capable of taming uh, the village. And I find it very interesting that they incorporated history to a fictional tale. And in terms of Irish folklore, it was very interesting to see the wolf walkers and the rules and the world building of them. It was very interesting to see the manifestations of the wolves that appear out of uh, the humans as they fall asleep. It was very interesting and I wanted to learn more about that. The score is beautiful as well. I really enjoyed uh, listening to the score. And also in terms of music, um, there is a song called Running With The Wolves by Aurora, which I really like. I like listening to her songs. I really like listening to uh, uh, Conqueror. That's uh, one of my favorite songs. And there is a sequence with Robin and Maeve in the woods and they're running um, and the song is playing and I thought that was the most one of the most beautiful sequences that I've ever seen and that was probably one of my favorite uh, favorite sequences that I've seen in a movie um, ever. If you've seen the trailer of Wolf Walkers, uh, you probably heard the song. It's gonna be in the movie, so um, if you love the song, then you're gonna be pleased. So overall, guys, it's a beautiful tale about friendship and about freedom and, ha and how to be free from society or just being free in general. And the characters are great, the story is great, the animation is beautiful, um, the storytelling, the lore, the world building, you just want to learn more about these wolf walkers. In terms of story-wise, it is not a story that you've not heard. There are a lot of elements in this film which they've improved in terms of their animation and storytelling and they're really pushing the boundaries in terms of uniqueness as they always do. I would have to say that this film is fantastic. It's probably one of the best animated films that I've ever seen and that is why guys, I'm gonna give Wolf Walkers a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like every single person who's worked on this film should be really proud of themselves because it truly is a magnificent work of art. So if you're familiar with Song of the Sea and Secret of Kells, you're definitely gonna love this film. But if you're a fan of those films, I can already imagine that you're gonna be checking out this film anyway. So right now, Wolf Walkers is, is in select theaters, I believe, in the UK. Wolf Walkers will be in, um, will be on Apple TV by November, I believe. I get a feeling that a lot of kids are gonna be howling after they watch this movie, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of howling. <laughs> So guys, Wolf Walkers, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Share with me your thoughts. And also, question of the day, what is your favorite Cartoon Saloon feature film? Mine's sort of a tie between Song of the Sea, Wolf Walkers, and uh, Breadwinner. And for those of you who haven't seen my review for Song of the Sea, I'll put a link in the description below, or there'll be an info card here somewhere, and you can go watch it and check it out. And to this day, a lot of you guys are commenting on it, saying about your views on the film, saying that it's beautiful and it's, it's amazing. And um, I can't thank you guys enough for that. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to see more and be updated with more film reviews. And until next time, guys, have a great hunt.